Okay, I've got the transcript of Magnitsky's uh, statement in a courtroom explaining how he learned of the fraud committed whereby the ownership of three companies was stolen from the rightful owners. <clears throat> Keep in mind that uh, the police raided the offices and stole documents and computers and seals. Uh, note the word seal. Uh, this is uh, something uh, stamped or tr uh, fixed to a document to ver verify its authenticity. When something important was done, you know, it would be signed by the directors and it would have a seal on there saying this is uh, authentic, uh, verifying that it, it was in fact a, a lawful document uh, acknowledged by the owner of the business, a seal. Well, uh, Karpov had uh, kept these seals and documents for an extended period of time. They were still in his possession um, in August when uh, a guy named Pavlov, a lawyer, showed up uh, showing a power of attorney, attorney that he could act in the, as an attorney and make legal decisions. He was empowered to do make legal decisions on behalf of this a company called McCone and Ryland, uh, a power of attorney. Well, if his power of attorney was uh, signed in August uh, while the seals were in the possession of the corrupt police, it would, it would show that that's a fraud. They used the seals impounded by the police to gain ownership of these companies so that they could acknowledge the lawsuits and uh, thereby declare no profit, thereby applying for um, a, a tax refund, which they obviously put through a network of banking transactions uh, involving uh, the guy that owned the bank, the uh, Universal Savings Bank, and his name was Kluyev. And, um, and by the way, this petty thief, nobody, you know, who's now dead, named uh, Markelov, Markelov, Victor Markelov, who was made the director of one of these companies. And while they were in possession of these companies, they didn't conduct any business other than acknowledging the, the lawsuits and claiming to be uh, guilty so that uh, the three companies could claim the three companies now in their possession could claim a tax refund of $230 million, which was sent to the tax office and it already in cahoots with the conspirators. It was immediately approved and immediately the funds zipped out into the, um, the cyber, cyber world of shell companies sometimes untraceable, located in places like Cyprus that don't necessarily disclose transactions or the owners or whatever. <clears throat>